In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 resources in physical therapy in under 10 minutes. I actually don't know how long it's gonna take me to record this and edit it, so I'm just gonna say under 10 minutes, but I could definitely be wrong. These resources are random. They're not in any particular order of importance. They're just general resources that I've used along my way, whether I was a student or as a clinician, new grad, whatever it is. Also, I'm gonna put a link in the description in this video to all the 10 resources that I mentioned, so if you want to go check them out, then you can definitely check out the description and then go follow it to the other place where it would be at. Let's get started. The first resource I have for you is called HEP to go and I actually currently use this right now. It's basically you can make a home exercise program for patients. It has a bunch of exercises on it and you can put together a program specifically that meets the needs of your patients. And this is completely free unless you want to upgrade and then when you upgrade you can get more services like you can text your patient and different things. I don't really know what it is. We're on the free account so we just make exercise programs for our patients. But but it is super handy, super easy to use. You can print them, you can email them. It's great. The second resource that might be helpful for you is called MedBridge. It's a place where you can get your continuing education units or your CEUs, PDRs, whatever your state calls them or whatnot. And basically it is just an online platform for you to take continuing education courses. And they do video productions. They're very simple to use. They also have an app so you can learn as you go on the road. But they also integrate a home exercise program as well. So if you pay for it, you can get like uh, video exercises that you can send your patients and things like that. So that's pretty cool feature. They seem to be doing pretty good on the video aspect of things. They're more innovative than some other companies, but they are a little more expensive versus other places, but you get what you pay for because it is a better service. Also, another cool thing they do is categorize the online courses into categories. So they'll break it up into occupational therapy or speech language pathology, or they'll break it up into physical therapy. So you can click on that. And then also you can categorize it by what state you live in. So I live in Michigan, so I can click that. And then it'll show me all the online courses that are available that I can take for Michigan that will meet Michigan's requirements for CEUs. The third resource that I think is helpful is the APTA. It's basically our Association for Physical Therapy, the American Physical Therapy Association. And they're a huge resource. So they have a lot of different features that can help you along the way, whether you're a student or whether you're a clinician. They help fight for laws and rules with physical therapy to get better benefits for us and to help legislation. And also they provide a lot of content, like they do online courses as well that you can take. They have research articles. You can find ways to volunteer, ways to help out, ways to get involved in your community. So if you have any questions about physical therapy, they're a great place to start. You can choose to financially support the APTA and become a member. And what this does is it allows you more access, first of all, to more things. And they also give you discounted rates for things like their courses and for events and also like random things like hotels and stuff like that. They give you discounts for those things. And also it helps pass legislation and new rules and making sure that uh, there's a standard of care that everyone follows. So that's what the association does so you can join to support that if you want to support your profession. Beyond just checking out the APTA though, I think another great place to check out is your own state's association. So for me, mine is the MPTA, Michigan Physical Therapy Association. And this is everything related to my state and what's going on. So it's more personalized to me. I can check out upcoming events that are in my area to see if I want to go volunteer for something or I can see if I want to take a continuing education course somewhere. I can do all those things right from my state's association. Another resource to check out is called the FSBPT and this is mainly more for students or people interested in becoming a physical therapist or physical therapist assistant and what this is it's the national exam company official officiary uh, I don't know what you'd call it uh, they're, uh, they're basically the people that give you your tests so that you can become a PTA or become a PT. But why they're so helpful is because they give you the requirements of what you need to do to be able to take that test. I have a lot of people comment and ask from India or from overseas or whatever it is, what is the process for me to become a PTA? I don't know all those answers, but the FSBPT does. So if you need to contact them or look at their website, they have a lot of information of how to be eligible to take that national exam. Number five cool resources for you guys that might be helpful for your physical therapy career would be 
podcasts. Now this, I love podcasts. I listen to them when I drive and they are so helpful because I hate reading. So it's really nice to just plug in and just be able to listen to stuff. So you guys asked me like, Tony, what are some podcasts you listen to? Joe Rogan podcast, duh, first of all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually do listen to some of his and they're pretty cool, but here are some of my other ones. Let me grab my phone. Yo, I just dropped my speaker. Some of the ones I've listened to is Move Forward PT, the APTA podcast, I listen to that sometimes. Pain Reframe, now this one is one of my favorite ones because I love pain science and learning about that. I think it's so unique and it's so important in physical therapy because we see pain so many times, whether it's a total knee replacement, whether it's something to do with their shoulder. I see it a lot working an outpatient and I think it's helpful to understand how pain works and all the research that goes along with that. So that's a great one. Uh, uh, pain reframed and then also Aaron Labauer cash PT so if you want to open a physical therapy practice uh, specifically a cash based practice that he has a lot of great stuff with that so those are some helpful podcasts also another podcast that might be helpful for you is called gratitude g-r-a-d it too, grad it. Wait, isn't that how you spell gratitude? It's basically capital G R A D, then itude, if that makes sense. <laughs> but basically, um, it helps you how to become a PT. It talks about being a student, being a new grad, all that stuff. And uh, she actually comments on some of my videos and does YouTube stuff as well. So check her out. That'd be cool. The next resource I have for you is probably one of the best resources known to man ever on this entire planet, and that is this YouTube channel itself. It's actually not that special, but I do try to post physical therapy related stuff so that it could hopefully help you guys out along the way. I have also a course of how to become a PTA that might be helpful for you guys if you're interested in doing that. So I try to post things, it's maybe like the eighth coolest thing out there related to physical therapy, but oh well. That's another one. Check it out if you haven't checked out this channel, which you probably are if you're watching this video. Ah, oh, Tony. This next resource is kind of a conglomeration of a bunch of different things, but I think they're all helpful and they're all kind of related to study materials. So if you're trying to study for physical therapy, then some things that I've used along the way were flashcards like anatomy flashcards to learn muscles and their action, their origin, insertion, all that stuff. And also anatomy books are really helpful because you have to like understand anatomy a lot in physical therapy. You have to understand how this body works. And also I've used Audible before, which you can listen to audiobooks because again, I do not like reading, but I don't mind listening to stuff. So Audible is another cool thing that Amazon offers. And also I didn't know this, so I just bought my book from the school but Amazon has a thing called Amazon textbooks which is where you can buy school books on there they might be cheaper they might be more expensive I don't know I didn't use it when I was in school but I came across it now someone told me about it so I don't know you got to check it out for yourself because I can't really tell you but Amazon you can order school textbooks if you find some cool stuff for good deals maybe try it out maybe let me know in the comment section if Amazon textbooks is even worth doing I don't know but study supplies I'll link it up in there and also like study guides so if you're taking tests or if you're studying for the national exam you can find study guides online really helpful number eight is more for people who own a clinic or a physical therapy practice and that is because the next resource that i have for you is a documentation system it's called web pt it's what we use here it's really nice when you do your own billing uh, because it integrates it all into one system so you don't have to pay a bill or you can do everything yourself it makes it a lot more simplistic that way and also it's all geared for physical therapy it's web pt so it's specifically for pt um, so that's not because then it's geared towards that the way it's set up the way you have to document and write notes it's off catered to physical therapists and the only downfall is it is a little more expensive even though it is a little more expensive than other documentation systems we think it's better because it helps us uh, with our billing system which is really nice and everything is related to physical therapy so we think that it's worth the extra cost number nine is covalent careers and this is a great place to go for new grads it's a website where you can search for jobs and you can also get like healthcare development tips if you work in like a health profession so 
if you need help negotiating your salary, you, they can help you do that. If you need tips on what to do in an interview, they can give you tips on what to do in there. They, can, they offer a lot of services like that, but it's all specifically for new grads. So check it out if you're a new grad or a student about to be a new grad or someone interested in physical therapy about to be a student about to be a new grad. Check them out. Whew, we've made it. Number 10, we're here. Hopefully it's still under 10 minutes. But number 10 is Facebook groups. And these are nice just to kind of hear what other people have to say. You can kind of interact with other people that are on the same level as you. And so a group that I'm a part of, I actually don't even, I'm terrible at remembering the names of groups of things. Let me look it up. This is gonna take 10 minutes. Here's where the video is gonna go 10 minutes still. Cause I gotta look up the name of my group now. It is called, Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did I not remember this name? It's called Physical Therapist Assistant Professionals. How did I not remember that? Anyways, it's a closed group. You have to like answer some questions to join the group. But there's uh, 4,000 members a part of this group. So it's kind of cool to interact with people and just see what the common, like uh, what, what everyone's talking about, I guess, because they talk about different things like the reimbursement rate. They talk about things like, hey, I live in this state. Anyone else live in this state? Hit me up and cool things like that. So join Facebook groups if you want to learn more and dive deeper into this profession. So there it is, guys, 10 resources in physical therapy. And I hope some of these can help you out if you're whatever stage you're in along the way. And also, if you guys could please subscribe to this channel because that would help me out. Give a like on the video if you thought it was helpful. And let me know if you have some other cool resources that you want me to check out. Let me know in the comment section because I still love learning about new things and trying new things out and seeing all the cool new resources. So send me a comment if you want to talk or yeah.